Hello friends, welcome back to A Shot of Code. Today, we're gonna to be looking at directives in a lit HTML. Now, I'm gonna be building on um, a little application I made in a previous video. Um, don't necessarily need to watch that, but if you want to, I'll put a link to it just here. Um, but this one, I've built um, a very basic setup here that is just gonna display the results of this fetch call to Chuck Norris jokes so we can see one over here um, now every time I refresh this page you can see it goes blank um, and then we get the page rendering as this part appears and then the fetch call which is asynchronous comes in afterwards again so let's see that we get the heading blank and then the fetch now that's because this call is asynchronous and it can take um, a few seconds to, to come back. Now, to, to show that this data is coming in, there'll be, you know, there might be lots of situations where you're making these asynchronous calls um, and we want the user to be aware that something is coming there. Um, you, can, you can put you know, code in to display a waiting or a spinner um, but you've got to re redo this code every time. But lit HTML provides us with a directive called until, which basically allows us to specify some HTML that will be displayed until the asynchronous uh, call has completed. Um, so I'm going to add that in now to this little project. If I go import until, now it's not exported from a lit HTML, all lit element. Um, I'm not quite sure why that is at the moment. I need to pull it in from a lit HTML lib and until. I'm not sure that will change, but at the moment this is where we need to go to, to get the code uh, for that. Um, so once I've imported, I can now come down to this fetch call um, and basically wrap it in an until, uh, which takes two parameters. The first one being um, the asynchronous call, that we're giving you a promise back. So I'll put that there. And then the second parameter is the HTML that we're going to display. Um, now we can provide another tag temperate literal here, so kind of recursively inside our main HTML returning, we can still we can do another one in here as well. Um, so we could say something like uh, waiting for Chuck, like so, uh, and then close that off. Um, now, if we give that a quick build. and then refresh this. What we see now is rather than the blank screen, we get our waiting for Chuck coming up. And then as soon as the fetch returns, um, we get uh, the Chuck Norris quote coming up. Um, so that is until, it's very useful. Um, you know, it replace a lot, of, a lot of boilerplate code that you're writing to, um, to, to show these these waitings um, for asynchronous events. I'm not sure yet how to add this to um, an event. Say if you're clicking a button and you want to show the HTML there. Um, I'm not quite sure how to do that yet, but if, if I, when I figure that out, I'll post um, another video on that. Um, but for now, that's it for uh, HTML and the until directive. Thanks very much, bye.